a wonderful blessed good morning to all of you under the sound of my voice this is minister rick coming to you from hatchet bay luthra and today is tuesday it's the day our curfew is broken so i ask all of you to exercise safety and precautions as you replenish your grocery and you do the things that you need to do to take care of yourselves today this morning i want to backtrack and come back at us with a message i talked about yesterday and it's on purpose and so i want to call this purpose part two and today, I want to talk about my story. You see, my life was a life that also needed to be in purpose. And I remember when I graduated from high school and my father came to to Eluther that, that evening and to wake me up that early Saturday morning. And he said, okay, son, you've graduated now. What are you going to do? And um, of course, it was the summer. And so I said, daddy, it was six o'clock in the morning. I said, Daddy, well, you know, I, I, I'm going to chill out for a couple of months and then I want to go to college. Unfortunately for me, all my daddy heard was the words, chill out. And so he said, Ricardo, you're not going to be chilling out in my house. Get up, get your clothes, get them out there. Your mommy's going to wash them. She's going to clean them and put them together. You're going to pack them. And tomorrow morning, 11 o'clock, you're going to be on the offshore heading to Nassau to take the test on Monday morning to join the police force. That was my daddy idea. <laughs> and so said, so done. Monday morning, I was in Mr. Bob's office being interviewed for the police band. Right after that, I took the test for the police force, I passed it and whammo, I'm a policeman playing in the police band. That was my daddy's idea. I didn't want to be there. And so it only lasted three years. However, the fact that I spent six months in the police college prepared me for the rest of my life. Since then, I've been many places. I've been to Botelco for a very long time. I've been to Colleen Insurance for a couple of years. I've been to BAIC for a number of years. I've been to Cavalier Construction for a number of years. I've been back to BAIC. And then recently I went to the Cove as the Human Resource Manager. Now I'm self-employed working for myself. But you know something? All along the way, every one of those jobs, every step or every stop I made, I was able to help somebody, encourage somebody, employ somebody, and help them along the way. So I realized that it was God's purpose for me not to be on the police force forever, but to be a journeyman to go from job to job to place to place because all along the way, I've helped to encourage, I've helped to bless, I've helped to employ, I've helped to invite people to know Jesus, etc., etc., etc. And so my life and my purpose, I found, is helping people and serving God. Listen, quickly, Moses was, was born when all the babies were being killed. Mom put him in the river to save him. Pharaoh's daughter saved him, and wham, he became the prince of Egypt. That's not where God wanted him to be. And so God called him after he saw his brothers getting killed. He committed murder, ran away. God called him. 40 years later, he's in Egypt rescuing his people, his purpose. Joseph, you know the story of Joseph? Had a dream. He was a dreamer. And all he wanted to do was dream. But God's plan for him was to save his people. His brothers thought he was their enemy. So they tried to kill him. That didn't work. And then they sold him into slavery. Um, Potiphar's wife had him, and even in slavery, he became in charge of Potiphar's house. Favor followed Joseph, even as a slave. Potiphar's wife had him thrown in jail for trying to seduce him. And even in jail, Joseph received favor because his purpose was known. Esther, little barefoot Hebrew girl, became queen and was in a place where she had opportunity to save her people from death. Esther found her purpose. Listen to me. It doesn't matter what happened to you today. If you love to sing, keep singing. That's your purpose. If you love to give, keep giving. You say, what is my purpose? If you love to give, keep giving. If you love to help, keep helping. If you love to pray, keep praying. If you love to sing, keep singing. If you are a leader, if you love to lead, keep leading. The people on the front line of this COVID-19 virus, the doctors, the nurses, the first responders, the janitors, the medical administrators, the policemen, the firemen, the military, the defense force, the prison overseers, the civil servants, the politicians, the administrators, 
the church people, the people who are praying for us. This is their purpose. They have found their purpose. So whatever you love to do today, be reminded that that is the purpose God have for you today. Many are the plans of a man, but it is the purpose of the Lord that will stand. I had to come back to remind all of us today that wherever we find ourselves loving and enjoying it and giving honor and glory to God, I say again, it's your purpose. Walk in your purpose. Sila. Think and act on these things. God bless you again today.